Hey, how's it going? All right, this is our welcome everyone. My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws, and this is week number three of how to draw dogs and cats. I'm gonna show you today, this I'm gonna show you today how to draw a cat's head. This is an ongoing series of a class called Bow Wow Meow. <laughs> And in the first two weeks, we looked at drawing a dog's head. Uh, in the next two weeks, we will look at uh, drawing a cat's head. And then we'll bring it together for maybe two more weeks after that by, as we look at a dog's body and then switch over to a cat's body. So I am glad that you're with me. Welcome. And let's get right into this. If you do have a question uh, or you need me to slow down, please just say it in the comments. I'm kind of keeping my keep my eye on those and uh, let's just kind of work through and see how many heads that we can uh, try drawing today okay so let's start off with you know uh, when when you're drawing a head any type of any type of animal or a human being um, especially a head it's always good to find out what's the foundation look like so this right here actually is a cat skull and uh, there are some things that we can immediately take away just through basic observation of this. You know, right away, a cat's head seems to be very round in shape. Uh, it also has a bit of uh, some angles and I'll show you those as well. We could see that also on a cat, the eyes are going to be probably the most important um, uh, feature in that in the size that they are compared to the rest of their body so uh, especially in their head region so let's jump into this and uh, let's let's give the skull a whirl this is a great this actually is a good starting point to understanding a cat's head so let me get up here get the right brush okay great uh, let's start off with just a simple sphere Okay. And one one shape I want you to think of as you're doing this, it's you know a cat's head can almost be almost like a was it one two three, a hexagon. Okay, it's kind of a a hexagon mixed with a sphere. So we could use both of these shapes and potential volumes to help us kind of construct um, the mass of our cat's head here. So let's go ahead then and drop a center line that's going to go right down the center of. And when I'm when I'm dropping that line, I'm I'm like keeping my my whole arm very stiff and just kind of using drawing from my shoulder or even my elbow, pulling pulling my line around the surface of the sphere. And even this, this line, I'm going to make an adjustment here, actually, because I think I was two, three quarter view there. So if we were to use this idea of using a uh, uh, six sided as hex, hexagon, I think uh, we might we might come up here like this. Look at this. And then we could come down here on the sides like this. All these are going to be in the same angle here. It's going to come down, right? All right. That's going to help us just a little bit to try and like combine shape and volume together. All right. I'm going to I'm going to put this uh nose here all right let's let's get these uh, eye sockets in maybe right just Right. 
Now this this is you know it's it's interesting when you when you start looking at the bone bone structure of things you could start to see kind of what's going on and how the skin is wrapping around um, some of these harder harder surfaces underneath. For example, look look at the I, I think they're the canines. They're the main fangs that are coming down. Look how far up they go. They they almost come down. They're almost on either side of that nose. You see that? A bit of a ridge there. All right, we'll do this a little, little bit. It's not really a smile, but it looks like a smile, right? Okay. Right, I'm going to just kind of put a little. Is it going to be his front teeth here? I'm just going to going to indicate like that, I think. I don't know what these low, these aren't really fangs per se. I, I don't know what they call, I don't know what they call those. <clears throat> the lower, the lower canines. All right, I know these are, these are canines there. I think they're called that. And I'm just kind of using a, you know, when you're drawing these, you could simply think of a cone, a cone shape, right? And you're going to have a, almost like a cylinder on the outside there, right? And look at this, this one, this bone kind of, it, they both reach up on either side of that nasal, nasal area there. Okay. This, uh, I, I think, I remember, I, I think it's like orbital mass or the orbital, I don't know what they call that. This is just gives us a real good kind of feel for what's going on below the surface just by sketching this out, all right? It's a good place to start. See how, you know, sometimes I think drawing is a lot like uh, sculpting. You you start with a, a simplified form, and then you just start breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down, breaking it down. Pulling in his jaw. This is a nice, nice sweep to it. And it's going to sweep around. Can't see it on the other side. But we start. <coughs> we 
you start with that round sphere give this adding some tone here doesn't have to be perfect just just to kind of get you you know this is a great warm-up here all right it's a good warm-up you know look here's I'm gonna correct something in mine I just kind of want to you know when you were drawing these you kind of want to make sure they're all all the parts are somewhat lining up so you could almost see that my my uh, eyes are not lining up exactly but that's, you know, that just happens, and you and you, you realize it. And you, if if this is going to be an actual drawing, I was going to finish. I might go f adjust it, or next time I draw a cat's skull, I would be far more aware of those relationships. And so, this just happens. Just happens over time as you keep drawing the same thing over and over again. You become more familiar with it and you can look for different arrangements okay so let's let's go ahead and get rid of that but you know I'm going to leave this uh, oops cancel I'm going to leave this on screen here so we can refer to it as we draw some of our other heads so let's I want to bring up this image here okay so this here is a wood carving. I'll tell you what, what I really like about wood carvings is that, you know, it usually will take like, it takes a sculpture or something like that, will take the fear, the fur. <laughs> oh boy, all right. It'll take the fur out of a picture um, and you'll see how a sculptor will have uh, rendered it or kind of modeled it in a very um, mass, from a mass standpoint. And I think that can be extremely helpful as we are trying to understand the volume of something, okay? So we're not gonna draw this, but I'm gonna leave it here for you. And uh, we'll, we'll put that also up there in the corner. And you can uh, definitely download this image, I've put it in this in the class notes and that would be a really good um, another head to practice okay all right let's bring up our first cat head here all right let's do this here let me uh, let me bring him over here I'm just gonna kind of make some adjustments to my board here all right, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's start with let's start with this guy down here. Oh, and by the way, um, I unfortunately lost some of your pictures of you of cats. So, if you want to have me have use one of your pictures as as a reference. We're going to next week look at cat heads one more time, but we're gonna go do a deep dive. We're gonna do a deep dive into the nose, the eyes, and the ears. So if you have some really good shots of your cat, please just post them in the Facebook group and I'll take a look at them, okay? So let's start off with a nice sphere. This is a side profile. And you know, looking looking at my skull, I could I could see that this this region is going to come down like this. You know, okay. 
This is a little bit more of a slant there. You see that? And then this is going to be our, our eye line right here. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, so eyes are gonna be somewhere in here. We're just gonna put a little mark here to help us help us determine where those are at. And I want to show you, you know, a lot of times I'll discuss how to get the good, how to get proper proportion. That means to get your drawing to look like whatever picture or object that you're drawing and there are certain uh, tools of measurement that you can use. Uh, what I mean is th these are tools that you can use in order to get things all squared up. And one of them is using vertical and horizontal lines. So what do I mean by this? Well, if I put a vertical line right, right through his eye, I could see that that ear up on top there is right lining up. You see that? If if this is the width of his head, look at this. That, the front end of that ear is almost exactly halfway, you see? So I can use these type of measurements to try and get things squared up. And I can also do the same thing if I'm going to use uh, horizontal lines. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and use some of those that we just discovered. So let's just say if my eye is gonna be here, all right, that means that means my ear is going to start up here and I'm just going to kind of freehand, I'm going to just try and like gesture where I think that would go. And then I just saw a measurement. The other measurement I just noticed was that the top ear is almost halfway from the front to the back, you see? That's going to be roughly where the front end is. Let's bring those together there. Right there. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. Just put my mark in there. All right. Now let's use a uh, a horizontal line and check this out. There's his eye, and if I have a straight horizontal line, oh look, the back corner of that ear lines up with the eye. Wow. That's that's pretty dramatic there. So if, if I'm going to start right about there, wow, that ear is going to come all the way back here. Almost something like this. So let's see here. So a nice, nice sweep coming around like that. Okay, I'm going to erase that so we can have a better view of what's going on here. Yeah, the back of this ear is, is very much like a straight line there, right? That's almost a straight line coming back. Okay, let's see if we can have find another straight. Look at this. This right underneath his head there. And the back of his head. So there you go. So that is a very good uh, basic construction. And I started with a sphere. Broke that down to try and kind of get an idea where his eye line is. Looked for the outside shape. And then I used uh, some horizontal and vertical lines to try and get some proportion of determining where something starts and where something ends.
All right, let's let's continue. Let's continue this here. So it looks like right here at his nose, it, it it's going to pop out a little bit for his uh, other eye. And then I could see it's almost like this, right? With his cheek coming up, right? Just like that. Oops, that was surprising. <laughs> uh, all right, let's continue here. All right, so let's get this nose in place. All right. And I'm just looking at his muzzle here. So let's see, how far back does this muzzle go? It comes kind of almost all the way back to the, uh, uh, to the eye. You see that? What is going on here? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Oh my, it's falling apart. All right. All right, let's get some tone in here for his eye. All right, there's his mouth. So let's let's there's a center part, center part of his mouth, and let's get his nose in here and just look at it closely. And then down here, look, we got to bring this in just just slightly. You see that? And, and here's another, look, look at this. Oh, what the, I forgot what that is in a little bit. <laughs> look, this other side of his, his mouth is coming over like that. You could see it ever so slightly. All right, let's let's bring this back here, maybe, and let's see. We're gonna come down in front of them like this. All right. This is this comes in. All I'm doing is working on the construction at this point. All right, trying to get, trying to get all the pieces in place, so I have a very a real strong three D aspect to this. Now, if you think of this as a whole, look at this. This back end is has tone. You see that? Where is where else is our tone? I can I'm going to squint my eye here, and I can see like, okay, this this whole region has tone. And of course, underneath his mouth has tone. All right, put some whiskers on that. All right, and there you go. There's number one. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and try a new one, okay? Let's turn that off. 
Let's bring up this guy here. All right, this is a different angle. Start this with a sphere as well. It's a good, good starting point there. A nice center line. Kind of rough in where we think those eye lines going to be. All right. Nose, mouth. I mean, kind of a rough idea where we think those ears are going to go. All right, let's let's use that uh, hexagon idea. All right, so we're gonna put that in there, and that's gonna come down like this, maybe. Alright, this is about to be the top of the nose here. If this was the nose, this is going to come around. So, all I'm doing when I'm doing this is I just keep... I, I, I try and envision the biggest shape with the biggest volume, and I break that down. And then I take my next one and break that down, and then break that down until I start to bring together a very strong construction of my cat's head. All right. Let's get these muzzles in place here. And this nose, right? <clears throat> All right, let's kind of take a look at where our eyes are going to go here. So I can see that this eyeball how's it lining up here okay that's lining up we're right alongside there how about this one over here probably very similar
Now, before you put the pupils in, let's be mindful of they're not dead center. They're, they're a little bit off center, you see? And this one is really off center, right? Like right over there, you see that? Let's get these ears in here now. I'm, I'm looking at this distance here and checking my... Uh, checking that relationship. Using a vertical line to... Let's see, that's going to come right about there. Lining that up. Looking at this negative shape, let me show you. I'm looking at this, that negative shape right there. I should probably do that in green, but you can see it. I'm going to do it in green. I'm looking at this negative shape. And I'm going to use that shape to kind of help me determine how far apart these ears are. Negative shape is another It's another tool of measurement. Okay, look at the right side here. Look at this. His side body is going to come down like this. Next week we'll be looking at eyes in detail and fur in detail and a couple of these smaller features. Okay, we're going to focus on all of those. So today I just wanted to mainly try and get you going with construction. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. There's two different cat heads you could try. There's a couple other pictures you could give it a go as well. And just try and practice some of these construction things that I showed you. And like I said, next week at this time, we'll be looking at fur, ears, eyes, nose, okay? My name's Kurt, thanks for watching today, and I will see you guys later. Great job, everyone, bye-bye.